Welcome back to the Denver Broncos franchise. Von Miller won Defensive Player of the Week for the AFC yet again here in Week 11 as we head to a Week 12 matchup against, yes, the Buffalo Bills. We would upgrade Deshaun Hamilton to a 75 overall as he has been a really good part of our team. He had a really nice game last week and he hopes to improve on his successes this week as we upgraded him to a 75 overall with that star development. And then we also upgraded cornerback Devontae Busby. Now let's look at some of the impact players on both teams. First for the Bills, Micah Hyde, one of the best safeties in the league, and then Ed Oliver, obviously their first round pick from last season, who's an incredible defensive lineman from Houston. Let's get to some Week 12 action. Welcome here to New Era Field as we are in the beautiful state of New York as the Buffalo Bills will be taking on the Denver Broncos in a week 12 battle here at the brand new name New Era Field. Although this field is not brand new whatsoever, it is actually one of the oldest fields in the league. We are excited for what should be a good one. Both these teams are going to be rocking their throwback unis with which both look pretty clean in my opinion as Drew Locke had a really really nice game last week against the Vikings and their win there as we actually shocked the Vikings and stunned them out home as we got a big win there. Hopefully we can do the same here, shocking the Bills on the road. Let's see if we can do it two weeks in a row as the ball is all teed up and we're underway here from Buffalo, New York. Returning this one will be Devontae Booker in his own end zone. He's about four yards deep. He said he wants to play for a new team next year as he elected to not re-sign with the Broncos. He brings his kick out to around the 22, and that's where we'll, we'll see our first look at Drew Locke today. He's upped his touchdowns all the way up to 17 to 13. That's a pretty decent interception, or touchdown interception ratio. He's thrown for 1,700 yards in the year as well. Third and seven for Locke, getting a little bit of trouble early. He finds his favorite target of the season, Noah Font, the big rookie tight end. He's had an incredible season. A guy who wasn't really expected to get a lot of receptions this year. He wasn't even a week one starter, actually. And same with Drew Locke. Not supposed to get a lot of touches this year, but he was also not a week one starter. He'll fire it out to his other tight end. That's Jake Butt. He'll get the first down. And now third and two. Philip Lindsay is going to be denied. That's star Latua Lele with the tackle for the loss. Here's Brandon McManus. This one from about 60 yards. The kick is up, and it is just short. No good. So the Bills will take over at the 50-yard line, and that's where we will see second-year quarterback Josh Allen out of Wyoming. First and 10 for Allen as he fires it out quickly. That's a nice little reception there for the first down from Allen as he's getting the game started off right there. First and 10 now for the Bills. Very next play, I'll hand it off to Shady McCoy. There goes LaShawn McCoy fighting off tacklers as he gets a little 12-yard carry right there. And then on third and three, Allen drops back in the pocket, has all day, surveys the field, fires it over the middle, and that's going to be a touchdown for the Buffalo Bills. A quick touchdown right there, as that was a great throw from Allen. He's on the board first as the Bills lead 7-0. Lock on third and three, he makes the smart move instead of trying to make a 40-yard play. He just makes a little smart 10-yard run up the middle for the first down. Third and three again for Locke. Fires it quickly. That's a little slant over the hole. He had an open Cortland Sutton, but way overthrew him. So they have to punt the football. First and 10 for Josh Allen. Pressure's brought. Surveys the field. Fires it into coverage, and it's going to be intercepted. That's going to be picked off by Kareem Jackson, and the Broncos will retain possession. Lock on second and seven now. Flushed out of the pocket right. Fires an absolute dime to Noah Font as he receives it there, and he'll get the first down for the Broncos. Second and 12 for Locke. Steps up in the pocket. He'll run with it this time. Lock. He'll get the first down and more as he slides or actually dives forward. Gets to around the 25-yard line there. Ball to the 26 here on second and 10. Lock. Steps back in the pocket. Has all day. He'll fire it over the middle to Emmanuel Sanders. And Sanders hauls in that catch for about nine yards on the play. It's all up first down there from him. On third and 12. Drew Lock. Steps back. He'll fire it over the middle and that pass should have been picked off. Lucky it wasn't. So the Broncos will have to settle for a field goal on that drive. But after a couple of three and outs, we have a minute to go in the second quarter. Drew Locke here running outside of the pocket. He's going to pick up the first down with his legs. He gets tackled from his knees and will be down around the 40-yard line. We're going to call a hurry-up offense. Second and 10, 40 seconds to go in the half. Drew Locke over the middle. He's going to fire a bullet. That's to Emmanuel Sanders, and now we're in field goal range. 30 seconds to go. The, the Broncos will use their first time out of the half. First and 10, fires it quickly. It's going to be tipped and then intercepted. It was tipped by Andre Holmes, and it was inter intercepted by Micah Hyde. And that's how the first half will end. The Buffalo Bills go into the locker room up 7-3, to three, and that should have been a closer halftime score as the Bills would have easily let up a field goal there, if not a touchdown. 
depending on the interception. Let's look around some games and scores from around the league as we start this one out in New York. A fellow New York team, the New York Jets, will be taking on the Raiders. The Jets are 7-2 on the season, but it looks like they will fall to 7-3 after they're down 21-7 at halftime. Send it out to the Buckeye State as the Bengals will be taking on the Steelers. The Bengals have struggled mightily this season, but as they're down 21 to 7 at halftime to the 4 and 6 Steelers. Some other games around the league. We send it out to the Windy City as the Chicago Bears will be taking on the New York Giants. This one's a 14 to 10 lead for the Bears. Giants having a pretty decent season behind their quarterback Tyrod Taylor as they're 4 and 6 and hoping to make the playoffs with a late season push. First and 10 here to begin the second half, it's going to be Bronco football. Drew Locke will open it up with a play fake to Phillip Lindsay. He steps back in the pocket. He has all day to throw. He'll let him fire it over towards Cortland Sutton. Sutton does a beautiful juke move, and he's down at the 35-yard line. A great play designed there from the Broncos. Third and eight, though, from Locke. He'll deliver a beautiful ball to the Penn State native, Deshaun Hamilton. He gets about 17 yards on the reception, and a big first down there from Hamilton. They're in nine now for Locke. The Missouri native steps up in the pocket, and he is going to be sacked on the play. That's Ed Oliver, his first sack of the afternoon, as he will hold the Broncos to just a field goal on that drive. 7-6, to six, Josh Allen and his Bills have the lead. He'll fire it out quickly here on second and three. That's the receiver, Cole Beasley, and he's finally going to be brought down at around the 37-yard line. A huge gain there. So big pickup on the last play. Here's Josh Allen on third and six. Von Miller rushing from the right side. He delivers it out quickly, and that's going to be a reception despite the big hit put on there by, I believe that was Chris Harris who tackled him. And then on second and goal from the one, a quick touchdown pass from Josh Allen. What an afternoon he has had as the Bills extend their lead. They're up 14-6 to six now. Lock on first and 10 here to begin the fourth quarter. He'll fire it over the middle. And that's a great catch by Deshaun Hamilton. He somehow hauls that one in. Ball is at the 50-yard line. Second and 10 as a couple plays later. Lock steps back in the pocket. He's going to step up in the pocket now. He's going to bring in the first down with his legs. And he gets slides down for extra yardage. A 12-yard gain there. Lock will hand off to Philip Lindsay on third and four. Philip Lindsay breaks through the secondary and he gets a nice gain. He has 75 yards rushing on the game so far today. And then on third and seven, Locke's going to play fake to Lindsay. Rolls out right. This one's a prayer, and it's incomplete. As that ball, I believe, was intended maybe towards Emmanuel Sanders. I couldn't really tell. So we'll tack on another field goal. It's 14 to nine now. We have three field goals. And on third and 17, they almost converted, but a clutch tackle there. So they actually won't get the first down. So that was Sue Cravens with his tackle. So third and 10 with four minutes to go. Locke going to deliver a nice pass to Cortland Sutton. What a route that was as well. Had so much separation after that curl route. And then on third and 12, 340, or 240 to play in the ball game. He's gonna fire it out towards Winfrey on third and 12, but there is a flag on the play. This could be a holding penalty, and it will be a shocking penalty there. So third and 22, Drew Locke steps back in the pocket. He's gonna fire it over the middle. It's gonna be caught by Deshaun Hamilton. That's not enough for a first down. We're gonna go into hurry up offense. We will try to convert here on fourth and six. This could be the ball game. Locke drops back. Locke has all day, fires it. It's caught by Jake, but I don't even believe he was the intended receiver, but he leapt up and caught it. And that's gonna be a conversion on fourth down for the Broncos. Lock on first and ten. Rolls out. He's going to fire it. And the prayer is answered by Noah Font. He somehow came down with it. First and ten for the Broncos. Lock drops back. Fires it over the middle. Andre Holmes. Touchdown. And the Broncos take the lead. One of the most surprising drives I've ever seen. The two-point conversion is batted down by Micah Hyde. So it's a 15-14 lead for the Broncos. What an incredible turn of events right there. First and 10 for Buffalo here. Allen trying to take back the lead. Drops back. Fires it into the hands of Sua Cravens. Had an incredible stop on the last drive with the clutch tackle on third down. Then gets the pick there. And that might have just sealed the deal. It's going to be a play fake on first and 10. Locke will deliver it over the middle. That's going to be to Emmanuel Sanders. He's down to the 11-yard line. Second and six. Lock under center here. Philip Lindsay in the backfield. We'll hand it off to him here on second and six. Lindsay has open space and he dives into the end zone for the touchdown. Not exactly sure why the Broncos needed to score there because all it does is give Buffalo another chance. The extra point would be missed, so it's a one touchdown game. Here's Josh Allen. He's going to fire it over the middle and that pass is complete. 30 seconds to go. One timeout remaining for the Bills. 
Here is Allen on first and ten. Drops back in the pocket. Will deliver it out quickly to LaShawn McCoy. And the ball is coughed up. It's recovered by Kareem Jackson. And that's going to be your ball game. The Broncos will stun the Bills here. And this is going to be an incredible win for the Denver Broncos. Drew Locke lines up under victory formation. And we will stun the Buffalo Bills on the road here in week number 12. Sean McDermott can't believe it as the Buffalo Bills get absolutely stunned. Are you kidding me? What an incredible turn of events. As the Bills will walk away with a loss. What a comeback win for the Broncos. An incredible last drive from as he lofts one up on third. Somehow is caught by the tight end, Noah Font, who had another incredible game. Lindsey Rush for 86 yards, touchdown. Locked through for 278 yards, a touchdown, and then had 65 yards on the ground. This was a great game as we improved to 4, 6, and 1 on the season. And this was a really fun one to watch. We upgrade some players after the game. First off, our right tackle, Jawan James. He's becoming into a pretty good player. As he's up to a 79 overall. We will keep him, and he's going to be one of the key parts on our offensive line moving forward. We'd also upgrade Shelby Harris. He's up to a 75 overall now, the defensive tackle. He's played pretty well these past couple games. And then we upgrade Sewell Cravens, who had a really nice game this week. And he's probably going to be a guy that we see a lot of playing time with the rest of the season, just trying to get him some more minutes, get him some more experience. And then Troy Fumagalli, we'll also upgrade him. The former, I believe, Wisconsin tight end. I believe that's correct. But that'll be all for this episode of the Never Broncos franchise. If you guys did enjoy, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe. I will see you guys on next time. Thanks for watching. And goodbye.